Good morning, YouTube. I am normal again. I keep doing this. You'll have a day where I'm like not made up, and then you'll have a day when I am. Um, it's gorgeous out there again today, and we're going to be going in the garden in a bit. The boys are just getting dressed because we've had a bit of a late start this morning, so I've had a shower. The boys have got dressed. my time. We don't need it yet. You're eating your uh, your strawberries. So yeah, they're going to have some lunch. Go in the garden. Maybe eat their lunch in the garden. Mommy. Just get dressed, darling. Where do I put these? It doesn't matter, darling. Whoa. Put it over there. They always do this. They don't talk to me all morning. And then when I come on the camera, they're right there. Hope you're all doing all right and keeping well and keeping safe. Um, I've got a new blender. Toby, go and get changed. Um, I've got a new blender, so we'll have a look at that later. See how that works. Um... I also got some straws. I ordered some metal straws to make things more exciting because I like I've that. Got two uh, yeah. Go. So that's about go. it for me. Go. I'm gonna have a shake in Three probably about an hour, and I'll show you when I make it because I'm gonna use my new blender so we can test it out together. Um, I'm gonna put ice in it and have a thick shake, which will be lovely. Um, and that's gonna be about it really. It's gonna be quite a quiet day today. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I'm still. 100% on plan, not going to falter in any way at all, um, yeah, and I'm feeling comfortable today, I've got on some jeans that I haven't worn for a while, I've got on a nice vest top, and I don't feel like a big fatty, so hope you're all having a good day. Hello everybody, so I'm going to test out my new Breville blender, so here we go, I've never done this before, so I don't even know if I'm going to get the consistency right, but I want a really thick shake, so what I've done is I've put less than 200 mils of water in there. I think I need to put some water in, because otherwise you're not going to get um, a mixture properly. And then I'm going to put some ice in. So, oh God, it's all over the side. Ice. I want quite a lot of ice, because I really want a thick shake. That's my plan, anyway. Um, let's keep going. Luckily, I bought these bags just before we all locked down, because apparently you can't get them now. Yes, darling. Oh, yeah. Because when we were in that little bit of army or something, I had a little open um, the doctor's. I remember. Um, that little boy in the doctor's had a, a purple glove in him, so that's why I got That's a, okay, you're allowed that's one. Why I asked. Rubber gloves in the house for emergency um, carrying goods and stuff and Oliver's put a glove balloon in there. Right, so let's see if this creates a really thick shake. I don't know if it will. This could be an absolute disaster, guys, but let's just see. So if I tip that in. The thing is, because this one doesn't really taste it very much, I'm worried that too much water is going to be, I don't know. Right, let's try. So we put the lid on. I've got my ice and my shake in there. Turn them up, line up the whiz a bit, lock it into place, and then blend. I haven't plugged it in, it would help, wouldn't it? Jesus. Ready? recommended to me um, by a couple of people so I don't know if it's something about the way I do it I'm still getting bits stuck to the edge but not anywhere near as bad as it was right I think that's it so let's take it out it does look like a thick shake I'm super excited and then what I also did is I ordered these straws so you get four, they're metal. Um, this one is like multicolored with a bend and you get a straight one, multicolored, and then you get two silver ones, one with a bend and one straight. Here we are, people. Let's see. Oh, it still smells good. Here we go. Oh, why am I so excited about this? Oh, look how much thicker that looks. Now, how am I gonna get all that out? I 
think it's going to be a game changer because I think it's going to taste a little bit like ice cream. Should we have a go? Mm. See, now that, to be fair, <laughs> I could probably, through the summer, if I'm still doing this in the summer, I could probably have three of those a day. Um, make ice cream out of them. Oh my gosh, they're lovely. There's still quite a bit of product on the side though, which is kind of annoying. I'm not really sure how I fixed that. Oh my God, I'm even putting the straw in here. <laughs> I'm so classy. Oh, that's good. Mm. A nice thick shake. That would be really good if you had um, some chocolate with it, you know, like the chocolate milkshake. But the difficult thing is, if you then put half a chocolate milkshake in here, you've only got to have half a shake at some other point in the day. But anyway, that. That's a winner. Winner, winner. Shaky dinner. Hello everybody, so I've come upstairs because um, I'm going to, excuse the mess by the way in the background, oh that sun's a bit bright isn't it, um, I've come upstairs because I'm going to do a bit of a try on, so I put my pyjamas on, I'd sat out in the garden and it got really really hot so I came in and I put my pyjamas on, um, but what I wanted to do when I was putting them on, I saw some things in my wardrobe and I thought I want them to fit me, so I've got a couple of things that I'm going to try on and show you on video and on camera for my Instagram people um, what I've got to lose to get into it. Hopefully I'll be able to do it by the summer but I always think it's really good to um, have an indication especially by looking at things that you like, used to like wearing and stuff. Black coffee. One of the ones I've got is a dress which is a size 12 and that's the dress that I wore when I lost all of my weight on the Ducan diet. Excuse me, I've got a weird thing on the screen here. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Um, when I did the Ducan diet and I got down to 11, 12, I was in this size 12 dress and I wore it to a wedding and I felt really good in it. And I've put it on my Instagram actually as a photo, but only of my face, not my body in it. But I want to see how far up it goes. So I've got kind of varying degrees of things that I want to fit into. Um, some smaller stuff, like really small and some that's kind of in between where I am now and where I want to be. Um, so yeah, I thought that might be quite good fun to do that. Um, I feel chatty today. I feel like having a chat, but I don't know what to talk about. I'm really missing company. Like, my husband's at home, um, but he's working from home, so he's upstairs all the time, really busy. Um, and then I've got the boys, and as much as I love them, it's not the same. I'm quite a sociable person. I like going out and doing stuff. So for me, it's really weird. A bit of a culture shock of being at home and trying to, um, you know, like get used to not having the company all the time. I'm sure I'll get used to it. It takes time, doesn't it? It's an adjustment to make. Um, just wanted to say a shout out to Shell, who's one of my followers. She's been trying to get back onto the diet um for one reason or another hasn't worked out but she's now on day two today and she's smashing it so i just wanted to say well done chick and i'm proud of you and you can do it and we're going to meet up which is going to be great because we only met through here um but we're going to try both get to where we want to go and then try and have a meet up and a couple of drinks if anybody else would be up for a meet up then that would be quite cool i know i haven't got lots of you following me i think i've got like 60 subscribers or something which is amazing so thanks for everyone that has um but yeah i like the idea of because we're like-minded if we're all on here looking at people that are on diets or you know we're all like-minded so it might be really cool to find a kind of mutual meeting point when all this is done and i'll just meet up for a drink it'd be really really good so yeah if anyone fancies that let me know in the comments um yeah i liked my breville blender really enjoyed that and then tonight i'm gonna have a spaghetti bolognese and i'm gonna have a i think some salted caramel bites and i'm gonna watch contagion because i've never seen it but people are saying that it's basically what's happening to the world now but in a film so i'm gonna watch that um, and then I'm hoping it'll be another nice day tomorrow and I can get back out in the garden. I just love being out there with the boys because they can play fresh air exercise. Um, and I just get to sit in the sun and watch them. So anyway, I'll do some trying on and I'll be back. So 
outfit number one. Now, bear in mind, this isn't, I wouldn't wear these together. This is just that top that I bought in a size 10 when I first started. And I was going on and on about the back rolls and how it was really, really tight. It's loose, not really loose, like it's still not like a t-shirt. It's still kind of like a stretch top, but it's better. But these are the trousers, so I've got to try and get them in. Look, they don't... <laughs> don't do up at all they're like low at the back they're really tight across the legs let's see if you can see look at that well that's not happening is it so let's try these on again in what should we say six weeks see if i get anywhere near or maybe four we'll see but there we are that's where we are the struggle is real here that ain't going on so that's number one I totally found a better angle, just so you can see. Look. Oh, they're like... <laughs> yeah. They're not going to fit. Let's try another one. And number two. So this um, is a 16 and it's from Boohoo. Um, um, we can see. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Excuse the boobs. Obviously, I like leopard print. Um, but it doesn't do what... doesn't do up um, and it's kind of tight like here that's not that's me like not poking it out it's just tight and obviously the bum so long way to go now this will be a challenge because this one doesn't even go on so I just um, excuse my wobbly thighs but you're gonna see me in a bikini in a minute so I kind of don't care but this dress doesn't even do up like it doesn't even go on so what happened just now is that i come down here so you can't see i just turned it round to put it on and it made a ripping noise not gonna lie like the stitching can you see that that's how much weight i've got to lose it's kind of annoying because i felt like i was doing really well um because things were fitting me but the things that were fitting me are still size 18s and 16s so this is a 12 and it's the most beautiful dress and it will fit me it just doesn't at the moment never thought i'd do this but now we're talking bikinis so this was my i bought it because i loved it do it you're gonna have to excuse all my fun, but that's the whole point of this um this doesn't fit i mean they're literally like falling out um it's not attractive turn around so you can see I want this to look amazing so yeah there we are that's where we are with things that i want to get to fit me um yeah sucks a bit to be honest i was feeling quite good and now i feel a bit shit it's good it motivates me keeps me going right bye making dinner um tonight i'm having spaghetti bolognese i love the smell of it Oh, there's loads of meat in this one. Can't believe how much I actually like look forward to this now. <laughs> it's really sad. Ah, but it smells so good. It does smell nice. I've cheered up now after my clothes trying on disaster. Um, because I did a little bit of a comparison shot to my before photos and although I'm wearing something different you can still see where I've lost weight like some of the rolls and that I've got I'll insert them at the end of this video so you can see like the comparison I said to my husband just now what shall I have to eat shall I have spaghetti bolognese or shall I have pesto pasta and his response was mm, choices and then he said but let's be honest they're not actually spaghetti bolognese and pesto pasta are they He's got a point, but I still like them. Oh, the lumpy bit. I don't want lumpy bits. Get off you. So my video has been really long today. You're probably thinking we can tell you're bored because you're just guessing and gabbling. Anyway, let's put it in for 90 seconds, shall we?
delicious. I'll be back when that's done. So I've had three litres of water today and I'm thirsty so I'm going to have the fourth one but I'm going to put some watermelon water flavouring in it. I don't use water flavourings very often so it's a little bit of a treat so that's nice. I'm just going to do that in a minute and my bolognese will be ready momentarily. So that's done and that's a really good consistency today. It almost looks a bit like the ones you get out of a tin but that's exactly how I like it. There's loads of meat in this one as well. Well, meat. I think it's like soya, isn't it? But anyway, still going to be nice. I'm going to go and eat this, drink my watermelon and watch a film. So I ate my spag bowl, watched my film and I ate some salted caramel bites and they were very nice. Um, so that's me. Another day done. Just going to upload my video from today. There is quite a lot of boob in it. Sorry. I know it's only ladies who watch me. I think there might be like one or two other guys, but that's all. Um, yeah. That's it. See you all tomorrow. Bye.